Randy here from Restream, and in this guide, we'll take a quick look and see just how easy it can be to stream to multiple platforms at once with OBS Studio. To get started, open your browser and head to obsproject.com. Here, you'll be able to download the latest version of OBS Studio. Once downloaded, open and run the installer, making sure to read each step carefully. On the final step, ensure the Launch OBS Studio option is selected and hit Finish. Now that OBS is installed and open, let's begin setting up our first scene. To do that, we'll click the plus icon and choose Video Capture Device from the list and name it Webcam so we can quickly identify it later. In the Properties window that opens, we can select the webcam we want to stream with. If your webcam supports it, we suggest adjusting your resolution to 720 or 1080p. Now we can click OK to save these settings and close the window. Let's scale our webcam down a bit so it doesn't take up the full frame. We can do this by grabbing the red box that outlines the webcam and dragging it to the size that we want. Now that our webcam is ready, let's add our display capture. To do that, we'll click the plus icon and choose Display Capture. Like before, we'll select the proper monitor from the list and then we'll click OK to save it. It looks like we've accidentally hidden our webcam. However, we can change the order of our sources by dragging the webcam above the newly added display capture. Finally, let's add our overlay. This time, we'll select Image, give it a name, and then browse your computer for the proper one. Now select OK, and it looks like the overlay might be a bit too large for our canvas. Let's fix that by right-clicking Overlay, hovering over Transform, and then selecting Fit to Screen. Now that OBS is set up and ready to stream, let's go ahead and set up our social platforms. For this guide, we'll use Restream, a powerful tool that enables OBS to stream to multiple social platforms at once without increasing the strain on your network or system. To get started, let's head back to our browser and then to Restream.io. From here, we'll quickly create our free account by entering in our username, email, and password. Now that we're on the Restream dashboard, let's start adding our channels. We'll begin by connecting YouTube. To do that, choose YouTube and then select Connect YouTube. You'll be redirected to a Google Authentication screen to allow the connection. Once that's done, we'll return to the Restream dashboard and as you can see, YouTube is connected. Finally, we'll quickly connect our Facebook profile using a similar process. Restream is officially set up and you're ready to go live to all of your end platforms. So let's head back to OBS and finish the process. Once back in OBS, choose Settings from the bottom right. In the window that opens, select Stream. Now, we'll want to select Restream.io-RTMP from the Destination dropdown. Once selected, you'll see Connect Account appear. We'll click this option to finish the process. In the window that opens, log into your Restream account and allow the connection. Finally, we'll save these settings by clicking OK. These new windows that have opened are the Restream widgets. They'll help you manage your stream without needing to navigate away from OBS. On the far right here, we have the Restream chat which will allow you to see and send comments to your audience from all of your platforms. Keep in mind, some platforms like Facebook will only connect after you go live. In the center here, we have the Restream Channels widget, which will allow you to be able to select which platforms you're going live to by toggling them on or off. And last but not least, we have the Stream Information panel, where you can update your title and game. These widgets can both exist outside of OBS, or you can dock them directly in OBS by clicking and dragging them. And that's it. Everything is set up, which means from now on, going live to all your platforms is as easy as opening OBS and clicking Start Streaming. Once you do that, we'll begin sending your stream to all of your connected platforms. Ready to learn more? Check out the videos on screen now, or if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below.